On these examples, we're gonna use the definition of logarithm to solve logarithmic equations. So remember on this, the definition basically is how we switch from logarithmic form to exponential form. So we're gonna convert from logarithmic to exponential form on each one of these and then solve down whatever results. So jumping right in here, we have log, natural log of x equals three. Hopefully we recall that natural log simply means log base e of x equals three. So by definition, going over to exponential form, we line up our base e. This kind of looks like e to the x power, but when we go over to exponential form, it's not gonna be e to the x. So this has to be e to the third power equals x, We've got x on one side all by itself, we're done. All right, we could get an approximation for this, but we like exact answers, so let's leave it as is. Rapid fire, I know. So what about six plus natural log of x equals 10? Well, what you wanna to do to use this definition is isolate the logarithm first. Get that on one side all by itself. So I'm thinking we gotta move that six to the other side. Let's subtract six from both sides. Therefore, getting the natural log of x equals four. Again, this means log base e, so line up the base is gonna be e, and then it's gonna be raised to the fourth power, is gonna equal x. Again, we could go ahead and get an approximation, but we like exact solutions. What about one that isn't a natural log? What about five multiplied by log base seven of n equals 10? Well, to get going on this, what I'd wanna do is isolate the log first. And I know you may be saying, well, I can move that five up to the exponent, Trust me, let's just get, get the log all by itself and get rid of the five. That's connected with multiplication from the beginning. So if we divide both sides by five, that'll isolate the log on one side by itself. So now we have log base seven of n equals, with a little simplifying down, we get two on the right-hand side. Now let's go over to exponential form. So I'm gonna line up my base, seven. This kind of looks like seven to the nth power, so it's not gonna be seven to the nth power in exponential form, so it has to be seven squared equals n, and we all know seven squared, seven times seven makes 49. A little bit better answer instead of seven squared. Let's leave it as an exact answer, 49. All right, similar on this next one, we have two natural log of six x equals seven. So let's isolate the logarithm, that natural log, by getting rid of the two. We'll divide both sides by two. This will put natural log of six x equals seven halves. Go over to exponential form. So remember the base is e raised to the seven halves power is gonna equal six x. All we have to do is get x all by itself. So let's divide both sides by six. Okay, that puts x on one side all by itself as these sixes get to make a one. And this is a nice exact answer to go along with that. Again, we could get an approximation, put this into our calculator, but we like exact answers. All right, what about when we have natural log of x minus five equals one? Well, again, it's natural log, so that's a base of e. So we can just say e to the first power equals whatever's on the inside, x minus five. To get x all by itself, we'll add five to both sides. Ta-da! All right, what if we have a negative hanging out here and a log base nine of x equals 16? Pretty similar, you wanna get the log on one side by itself, so let's get rid of this negative eight. It's attached with multiplication, so let's divide both sides by a negative eight. All right, so that'll put log base nine of x equals negative two, with a little bit of simplifying down on the right-hand side, shouldn't be too bad. Over to exponential form, we can say nine to the negative second power equals x. And we can get maybe a little bit better answer here instead of rewriting this um, with that negative exponent, let's go one over nine to the positive second power, or that's one eighty-first. Nice exact answer. All right, two more of these real quickly. This next one, we have log base two of something equals three. Log's already on one side, isolated all by itself. So let's go over to exponential form. We can say two to the third power equals seven X plus six. So much of this just goes over to, are you comfortable with switching from logarithmic to exponential form using the definition? 
Hopefully we are. If not, keep practicing it up. Two cubed, same thing as eight, equals seven x plus six. You may be saying, okay, nice linear equation. We like linear equations. Let's move the six to the other side. So eight minus six makes two. Adding six, subtracting six, make a zero. And then to get x all by itself, we'll divide both sides by seven. So two sevens, nice, exact, perfect, perfectly good answer there. We'll leave that as is. One slightly more challenging one to finish up this video. Notice in this case, we have two logarithms both on the left-hand side. Whenever you're presented with more than one logarithm, it would be better if this was a single logarithm. So let's go ahead and combine this into a single logarithm. So we have two logs that are added. Hopefully you remember our properties of logarithms say that you would multiply what's on the inside to combine them together. So I'm going with four times negative five X makes negative 20 X equals two. All right, so we've isolated, we've got a single logarithm on the left-hand side equals some number. We want to switch forms, go over to exponential form using the definition of logarithm. Hopefully we remember if you don't see a base indicated, it's a common logarithm that's automatically log base 10. That's gonna be really helpful to know about. So in exponential form, this would be 10 to the second power equals negative 20 X. 10 to the second power, 10 squared is equal to 100. Now to get X all by itself, we'll divide both sides by negative 20. This will put X on the right hand side as I wrote it all by itself. And we'll end up with negative five for our solution. Now you may double check this and be like, is it okay to have a negative for our X value? But if you plug it back in, if you plug a negative five in for the X, you get negative five times negative five. Overall makes a positive 25 on the inside here. So it's not gonna cause us a problem at all. That's a good solution, nice exact solution. Hope this helps out as you're using the definition of logarithms to switch over to exponential form and then solve down some logarithmic equations. Good luck.